What's going on YouTube? Flopfish here bringing you my 2012 Stanley Cup playoff predictions and my bracket for my YouTube bracket challenge. Uh, I will put the link below for the bracket challenge info and this is my bracket. So uh, whip this up in Photoshop quickly. It's got some nice little graphics there, some nice little images. Uh, yeah, looks looks pretty sharp. <laughs> Anyways, on to the important stuff. Uh, first off, we're starting off in the East. And uh, in this Rangers and Senators game, going to be a tougher series than what people expect. Rangers, I think, will still win this one. Um, I think they'll probably win it in five or six games. I stuck with five. But I sense an injury in that series. I don't know why, but I see one of their key players getting injured in that series. Uh, just my thoughts. So... Rangers, you're moving on to the second round. Uh, Bruins and Capitals. Uh, this is the first of my upsets. And why I'm taking the Capitals here is because the Capitals are peaking at the right time. Just when everyone thought they were done, they came back in, they clawed back in, and look where they are. Uh, Ovechkin's peaking at the right time. They don't know who their goaltender is, which normally for them is actually a good thing. Uh, I remember when they didn't really know Neuwirth or forget the other guy they had in net, uh, Varlamov, like when they didn't know they had Varlamov in net, uh, they went really far actually, and I'm kind of expecting the same type of run out of them this year, so yeah, I'm taking the Capitals in that series, I just don't think the Bruins have it in them this year. Also, the Bruins have a 1-2-1 and record versus the Capitals, but you know, uh, anything can happen, you pretty much throw the regular season out the window as far as it comes to playoffs um the next bracket we have panthers and devils uh taking the panthers in this one i think they can ride their goalie and steven weiss will get up get some nice points for them but you know i really don't see them going any further that's kind of the series that if you win to the second round if you go on to the second round i don't see you going on any further um and the reason why is because you have the Penguins versus the Flyers. This will be the most explosive series of the playoffs. Um, without a doubt, for sure, the most explosive series of the playoffs. Uh, lots of bad blood between the two teams, especially just in the offseason here. Uh, lots of high scoring, hitting. It's going to be a great series to watch. And I am taking the Penguins in seven. So... I changed my prediction from last night, and I was saying the Flyers, but, you know, something's just screaming Penguins, so that's what it looks like in the second round for me. Um, Rangers versus Capitals, Penguins, and Panthers versus Penguins. Uh, now, on to the West second round. We have Canucks, Kings. This one, I don't think it'll be as much of a contest as what most people are making it out to be. A lot of people are taking the Kings to upset the Canucks, but... I'm taking the Canucks in five. Uh, pretty confident in their play. Luongo's got a short leash, short leash, really short leash, actually. So, you know, I think um, Schneider will come in if Luongo does mess up, and Canucks will move on to the next round. Uh, the next upset I chose would be in the Blues versus Sharks series. Sharks are the team, one team I didn't want to face in the first round because this is the first year they have a pretty, like a really strong team, but they haven't lived up to their potential, and normally they're a top seed, normally they're where the Blues are, um, but they're not this year, um, and I think they won't have as much pressure on them this year, and they normally crumble under the pressure, so I think they'll actually upset the Blues in six games. I think it's either six or seven, but I think I said six. So you're going to see the Sharks move on and face the Canucks for a rematch of last year's Western Conference Final in the semis. And the next series, Coyotes, Blackhawks. This one's uh, going to come down to goaltending. And if Blackhawks can get solid goaltending, they'll be able to win. But I think Coyotes will get outstanding goaltending from Mike Smith, who's been solid for them all year. And they'll take it in six over the Blackhawks and move on to the second round to face the Predators, who beat the Red Wings in seven games in a pretty good series. But I think Radulov will be a key component for the Predators this, uh, uh, this playoffs. And I think he'll do good in the first round, but I think second round he won't do as good. 
So there's how the second round shapes up in the west. Now we're moving back over to the east here and uh, the Rangers and Capitals is an interesting series. Now I'm going off my hunch that the Rangers are going to lose a key player in the first round. And to me, I don't know why I just feel like that, but I don't feel like they're going to go to the cup final. Um, I'm thinking you're going to see the Capitals have another upset here. And I think Ovechkin's really going to put the team on his back. And he's going to shout, Leroy Jenkins, while dangling through half the team and scoring a goal. Um, it was a really bad impersonation there, but... Ah, uh, I don't know. This is a tough series. I'm going to choose the Capitals in seven here. And in the other series, Panthers-Penguins, I think Penguins will dispose of the Panthers pretty quickly, probably in five games, and you'll see them move on to the next round. So that's how the Eastern Conference sets up here. On to the West, Canucks vs. Sharks, rematch of last year. Canucks won it in five games. They've done pretty good against the Sharks this year. I think that, once again, Luongo's short leash could come into effect here. Uh, but I think I think you'll see the Canucks be able to manage this series pretty good. And I will take them again in five. And Coyotes vs. Predators, um, this is this is a really like an interesting series because you got Coyotes who are a team that people are just kind of going to leave out of their pool. But, you know, they're pretty pretty dangerous they've got some good secondary scoring uh brulee's definitely picking it up uh almost chose them in my hockey pool but didn't but you know what i'm choosing the coyotes to move on to face the canucks and that'll be a seven game series between the coyotes and predators so your two finals look like this now they're kind of different you got the triple c cccp i think we're spelling russia here um it's kind of funny, actually. But you got the Canucks versus Coyotes and Capitals versus Penguins. Now, Canucks versus Coyotes, I think, will probably go six games or seven games. Um, I'm still sticking with the Canucks to win this one. Uh, I think they're really underrated and underestimated this year again. Like they got first, but you know they've they haven't shown up any teams this year, and they, to be honest, they could be playing better than what they are. And if you're number one and you can be playing than what you've played like the entire year, that's kind of saying something. So I'm taking them to win that. I'll say six games. And Capitals versus Penguins. I think Penguins will dismantle the Capitals. Um, but I think Capitals have some fight in them. I could see that one going six games again. I could see Ovechkin and Crosby fighting it out. But Malkin and the just Neil and the firepower behind the Penguins team just will be too much for the Capitals, and you will see a Canucks versus Penguins final. Now, this is a tough final to choose from. You got a team that's solid all around, and then you got an offensive firepower. Now, Canucks, I think, have the goaltending and defense to easily stop Pittsburgh. And, you know, if they get solid goaltending from either Luongo or Schneider, because there will be a really short leash on Luongo this year, just because of last year, you'll see them doing pretty good. And, you know, I think this one's going to go six games. Um, I'd like to see the Canucks win at home, but I really think six, a six-game victory in, in Pittsburgh will crown them the champions in a 4-2 victory. So that's my playoff pool. Um, like I said, if you guys want to enter the contest, uh... I will leave a link below or leave a comment below on the video that I link up uh, in the description. And until then, guys, take it easy and enjoy the playoffs.